Hey, welcome back to Mind Pump TV, guys. I'm your host, Danny Matranga, and today we're talking calves. There aren't a lot of muscle groups out there more stubborn than calves. And I think in my experience training, I've run into more frustrated people trying to grow their calves than just about any other muscle group. And when people really break it down, they're either doing a standing calf raise machine or a seated calf raise machine. Now, the exercise I'm going to show you today requires no machines. Now, guys, this exercise is extremely effective. It works great. It's worked for me. It's worked for my clients. But I'd be lying to you if I told you all you needed to do was find one magical exercise. There's a lot more to developing your calves than just that. So, in the description below, we've linked our free calf guide. I wanna make sure after the video, you guys grab that, read through it. In conjunction with this excellent exercise, the information in the guide is really gonna help you develop a nice set of calves. So before you click out of the video, be sure you grab it. And let me show you this exercise right now. All right, guys, so to do this exercise, you don't need a ton of equipment. You need a plate, you need a kettlebell or a dumbbell that's relatively heavy, and you need a dip belt like this one that you can get online for anywhere between $20 and $30. Now, this is a variation of an exercise called the donkey calf raise. It's an old bodybuilding exercise. You've probably seen Arnold and his training partners do it in the past, where your buddy would hop up on your back and you'd load up the calves, and you'd be essentially doing a standing calf raise. Now, this was before a lot of the calf equipment was developed. And even though we have calf equipment now, it's not all that fantastic. And I've been to a lot of gyms and the, quite frankly, the calf equipment sucks. So to do this exercise, it's really simple. You put the belt around the body and you link it through whatever you're gonna load it with. So it's gonna be a dumbbell in some cases, in other cases it'll be a kettlebell, whatever you have. Now, the best way to do this I learned from my friend Eugene. You actually get up on a plate. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to go further than a traditional calf raise would. Now imagine this, if I was just standing on the floor, I can only, I can go up and I can contract and shorten the calves and that's great, but I can't really lengthen the calves. So that's kind of a problem. And if I step up on this plate, all of a sudden I have the ability to lengthen the calves a little bit more. And you can do two plates depending on the size of your foot, but we wanna get the contraction, but we also need to get that lengthening piece. So once we've got our plate set up, what you wanna do, orient the kettlebell between the legs and find something to put your hands on. For some of you, it might be a barbell. For others, it could be a bench. I've always done this with a wall. I just feel the most stable. And what you wanna do is just make sure that you're directly over the kettlebell, that it's hanging relatively straight, and that before you start, you can feel a stretch in the calves. Work your hands down to a point that you don't feel anything in the low back. And then from there, simply shorten the calves as hard as you can. Get a full stretch and squeeze as hard as you can. Full stretch, squeeze as hard as you can. Don't think about just driving the heels up. Think about squeezing and contracting the calf all the way. And then when you get to the top position, really think about pulling your heel into your hamstring. Then go back down into the shortened position and repeat. So anytime we do that calf raise motion with the leg extended or the knee extended, that's when we really hit the calves. When we have the knee bent, we hit the other muscle called the soleus, okay? And we really wanna hit the gastrocnemius, which is the big calf muscle. And if you do it with an extended knee, especially in a position like that, you're really going to feel your calves. And I like this more than even seated and standing calf raises. So I want you guys to give that a try. I do recommend anywhere from four to five sets for 12 to 20 repetitions. If your calf training is really important to you and your calves are a valuable muscle that you wanna develop, I would move them earlier in your leg workout, okay? Little pro tip I have is to actually do them before you squat. The reason for that is this. If you get those ankle tissues moving, those calf tissues moving, you might actually find you squat better and you have a deeper squat because you increase that ankle range of motion, you get better ankle mobility. So if calves are a priority, do three to five sets of this, 12 to 20 reps, 
first thing in your workout, really get those calves going, then move into the rest of your leg stuff. I promise it'll make a big difference. All right, guys, so that's how to perform a donkey calf raise at your home gym, at the gym, anywhere you might be, really simple. Dip belt, plate, and something to put on the belt, and you'll be able to really hit those gastrocnemius or calf muscles in a unique position. Before you head out, please do me a favor, grab the free guide for tr calf training. I put it in the description below. And if you want a little bit more to expand upon that for the entirety of your leg training, head over to mindpumpfree.com and grab our squat like a pro guide and our leg development guide. We've got a ton of resources to help you with your training and really help you put it all together. Thanks again so much for tuning into Mind Pump TV and have a good day.